If your arm, so talking a little bit about the guy underneath, if your arm's here, leave it there. If your arm's on this side, leave it there. Moving your arm around the front of the person's face is what's going to get you submitted the fastest, all right? Okay? So when I'm here like this, for example, and let's say the person underneath, Sean, really likes using a frame like this. When I'm sitting here like this, I like to either grab here like this, hold my lapel, like that, so you have good control of this arm. Now, if you start feeling this arm starting to move around your head, I make like a little bunny here, and I wait for it. it keeps going, and I catch it with my wrist, catch it with my wrist, turn your knuckles under, yeah? Right, here like this. So, the more that I turn my knuckles under, the worse it is for him. You can put your head on it to add pressure, and now slowly put your elbow against his belt. Yeah. Don't lift it. If I lift it, he'll put his knee in my armpit and slide his arm down the outside, and then he's got control. All right? So in this, in, in this situation, yeah, I'm sitting here. I've got control of this arm. He might be afraid that I'm going to go and see. He's, he's worried about me straightening it out there. So he starts bringing it. I feel it. I start feeling it move across my ear. So as soon as I feel that, my little bunny ear goes up. I catch it, knuckles down straight away. Don't push and then try and get your knuckles down. If I push, he's just going to straighten his arm and I'm going to lose my grip. Yeah? Right? So as this comes around, the first thing I do is hook deeply. Once I hook, now straighten it. Very hard. Yeah? So I hook like that with my wrist. Then I hook with this one. Now I start moving it down onto the floor. Yeah, my first thought is not to drive it to the floor. My first thought is to hook the wrist deeply so that it doesn't straighten. Yeah, hook, curl that one as well. Get on it, turn your head away from that other arm in case it's got cartridges or something. Yeah, and you're adding pressure to the arm. Now I'm just cleaning the floor with the wrist and putting my elbow against his belt. Don't be in a hurry to put it there because you can really hurt them. Yeah, even just doing that is enough for most people. So my first thought always is to pull towards my center, towards my chest, see? And I don't have to go anywhere down near the belt, right? So again, start off with the arm on this side. You're holding your collar, so you're holding this tight, so I can't just rip around there quickly. I'm here like this, I feel it starting to move, so I put the bunny ear up. My wrist catches it deeply, other wrist, Head down, now it starts going towards the floor with my weight on it. There. All right, so just don't be in a hurry to smash it to the floor with your knuckles up, because then he will just straighten it. See, there's a gap under there, and he'll just straighten his arm, and then you'll have to chase it anyway. So here, you start feeling it moving, bunny here. Catch it with your wrist, <coughs> wrist, head, then start going towards the floor. One, two, three.